What's up guys, my name is Spritz and Sniffs, and today we're going to be talking about Ferragamo's F Black. If you're new to the channel, make sure you stick around to the end. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So F Black is actually the first ever designer brand fragrance that I've purchased. I bought it when I was probably 15 or 16 years old. This one is a great one for beginners because of its low, low price. It is an apple and peppery kind of fragrance, but it's got a lot of powderiness to it. Um, it's sweet, but in a unique kind of way. And it can be a little bit overwhelming because of the powderiness, but I think it's a great fragrance if you want something that is uh, for work, especially for the price and the uniqueness of it. This one is a great one. There's also this nice sweet tonka bean note in there that pairs really well with the fruity sweetness of the apple. So nothing is overbearing in its sweetness. It's just really a calm light sweetness with a little bit of spiciness from the pepper, making it a more masculine fragrance. However, like I said before, the patteriness can be a bit much for some. When it comes to performance, I've never had fantastic performance with this one, getting about usually six hours of longevity and a medium projection, so not too strong and also not too weak, which I'm actually okay with because of its synthetic nature. I think it works well from a projection standpoint. I would say this fragrance excels in the times where it's cool but not too cold so like the fall weather and when the early spring weather for where i'm at that's when this one really works the best it does work pretty well in the um winter weather as well but for summer i'd probably stay away from it when it comes to powdery fragrances the heat amplifies that powderiness even more and it can be um, piercing to the nose to some so i probably would not recommend this one for the summer heat when it comes to the price of this fragrance, it is actually incredibly cheap and it's actually gone down from when I checked last. Being around 25 to 30 bucks, this fragrance is very affordable and it's a really nice one that you can start off with. So if you're looking for a fragrance that is not going to break the bank, this is definitely a good one to check out. So what is my overall opinion on this fragrance? Well, first I would say that this fragrance is probably a no-go for me, a little bit too powdery, a little bit too synthetic, so it doesn't have much of a place in my fragrance collection as of now. But as a beginner fragrance, this one is a great one if you're looking for a fragrance that is good for year round, if you want something a little bit more mature, slightly sweet, good balance of projection to longevity. This is a great choice, plus the price is always a benefit. But for me, this is just not a fragrance that I would ever really reach for much. So I'm gonna give this fragrance an overall score of six out of 10, because it just doesn't have much of a place for me. If you are starting out, this is probably gonna be a good eight or nine out of 10 fragrance for you. So I definitely recommend checking it out. It's not gonna break the bank and it's one that you could definitely end up uh, growing into and enjoying a lot. So guys, that is my 2024 review of Ferragamo F Black. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and leave a like on this video. If you're here to the end, thanks for watching to the end and leave a comment down below that you made it to the end. That's all I have for now guys. So I will see you in the next one.